You can open with me Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Hallelujah. We all know how it began. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Hallelujah. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, for your people, the hearts that are before you. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We thank you for this privilege that we can stand before you, Lord, and empty ourselves. We thank you, Father, for your word. Because it is the word that makes us. It is the word that started all things. It is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I love this. I love the word. I love the word of God. I really love the word of God. You know, I don't know what you are looking for, what you have been looking for, what you are expecting God to do. I don't know whether you are crying, you are saying God has not answered your prayers. You are saying God has not done this, has not done that. But I want to tell you, that everything that you need, everything that you need is within you. Hallelujah. It is within you. You know, I believe, I believe that as Christians, we need to live above the flesh. It's time that we live, we need to live above situations. Hallelujah. We need to live above things, above people, and move with the Spirit. Never allow flesh to steal your joy. Never allow flesh to control you, to dominate you. This is the only, it's, it's, it's flesh, this is flesh. You are the spirit that dwells in the what? In the flesh. Many of us, we fail to get our breakthroughs. We fail to get our blessings because we ignore the word. We are always uh, controlled 
by our flesh, by things that we look at and we desire them. You see, it's no longer about yourself. It is about God. It is about God. When we go to 1 John 1, 4, 4 says, Greater is he who is in me than he that is what? In the world. Who is in you? Who is he? Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is in you as the word. You know, when we read Revelations 19, Revelations 19, let's just go to Revelations 19, and we, we, we want just to clarify I want you to see what I'm talking about. Uh, Revelation 19, verse 13. It says, And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the word of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. He was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. His name is called the word of God. Who is that? Jesus. He is the word of God. And John testified, and then he said, Greater is he who is in me. He was talking about Jesus, who is where? In. You see, if Jesus is in you, if Jesus lives in you, eh, you can never lack anything. Because you have all what you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have the word that create, that can create those things that you need. It's within you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is within you. So you need to treasure the word. You need to treasure the word. Somebody greater lives inside you. In Romans 10, verse 8 says, The word of God is in your mouth, is within you. Everything, everything started with the word. Everything is about the word. It's about the word. That can change your life. We have the word to speak things that can exist. Because it is within us. That's all you need. You can speak the word. Whatever you need. You need healing, speak. You need help, speak. You need deliverance, speak. You need a miracle, speak. You need a blessing, speak. You don't have to complain. You don't go, you don't have to go around, you know, uh, memory, complaining.
you need to speak. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 4, verse 12, you see, we need to, to understand the works of the Holy Spirit. In, 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 in Hebrews chapter 4 says, Let us therefore fear, oh sorry, sorry, in 4 verse 12, is it? It says, For the word of God is quick and is powerful. It's active, fast, sharper than the two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Judges the heart. That's what the word of God can do inside you. When you take the word of God, you see, it has authority, it has the power, authority to change things in your life. It can change situations in your life. The situation that has taken years of your life in a twinkling of an eye, <laughs> just a twinkling of an eye, it shall turn things around. Twinkling of an eye. Twinkling. As I'm speaking right now, if you take that word right now, if you speak it right now, even inside your heart right now, say, God, I receive your word, and you speak it as a prophecy. It will change you right now. It will change your circumstance. It will change I don't know what you are going through. I don't know. You have been crying and crying. But everything is just within you. It is within you because you, all you do, you speak. 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 Whether it's finances, job, marriage, whatever it is. Speak. Speak. Glory to Jesus. It is supernatural speed. <laughs> it is spoken. Things will not remain the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never. There is no way in the Bible where you hear that Jesus failed. Or somebody approached Jesus and they went back. Jesus failed to heal them. The word of God is powerful, church. It is powerful. It's the one that makes us. We are here in the church now. We, we are here. We, why are we committed? Why do we come to church on Sunday? Why do we keep coming? We, we, we have problems. Yes. Because greater is he who is in us than the one who is in the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God has authority and enabling force that brings transformation. So powerful to change your situation. God spoke to Abraham and Sarah. He, their situation was resolved. 
there the problem. But God spoke. When we go to Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 37. Here God was trying to show Ezekiel Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know that you carry the word that gives you everything. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord was upon him, was upon me. This is Ezekiel now is speaking. He's carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them around about, and behold, they were very many there were very many in the open valley, and Lord, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that, you know, a faith comes by hearing the word of God. God is telling him here, right now, to hear the word. You know, God is trying to show Ezekiel that he hears the word that can transform things. Now he says, speak to this tribe. You know, it's an empty place. It's like when we read here that in the beginning there was what? There was nothing. Is it? There was a word. Nothing, just the word. Because God does not want anyone to help him. God who wants to, to work in something that is not there. So that he will show that he is God so that you must believe that if he can do this eh? That means he can do for me as well. So he says, son of man, can these bones live? Can, he's asking him, these are dry bones, there's no life. Everything is dead in that place. It's dead. And he's saying, son of man, can these bones live? He says, I don't know. You know. And then he says what? Speak. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, speak. And when he started speaking, he just spoke. What happened? The Bible says, life came into those bones. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't know what is dead in you. What is dead in your life? What is dead in your situation? 
Hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Hear the word of God. Any situation that is dead today, now, 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 hear the word. Speak. Speak life. Speak life that will what? Change. Nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible. All things are possible. Sometimes we want to tell God, say, no, this is hard. This can't be. This cannot be done. I can't go through this. It's too hard for me. It is, you know, sometimes you have given up. Many people have given up church. They've given up God. They've given up everything. He says, I tried and tried. I prayed. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. That's a lie. That is a lie. There is a word here. There. It says, Hear the word. Hey. You know, when you hear the word, hmm? when you begin to hear the word, when you take your time to begin to hear the word, when that word comes inside you, huh? because it has authority, it will sit there with authority. And it can control any situation, when it's inside you, and you know for sure, nothing can remain the same. Hey. Hallelujah. Nothing can remain the same. I want you to try it. I want you to try it. I'm telling you, you come out of this place a different person. You'll be full of smiles. You'll be full of joy. Your problems you will not see again. You know, it takes a twinkling of an eye for God to bless you. It takes a twinkling of an eye for you to get a miracle. The moment you stand and you line up, just line up. You need just to line up. God says, Ezekiel, are you hearing the word? You can never have faith when you are not hearing the word. Never. That's why church is very important. You come here every Sunday. You hear the word. When you come out of the here, you be encouraged. And you keep going. The journey is too long. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day we shall be singing in heaven. I, I tell you like man. One day we shall be singing in heaven. Yes. Yes. When the word is spoken, demons tremble. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. That the spirit in you is power over your flesh 
Never allow flesh to dominate you. You need to live above the flesh. The spirit that is in you is more powerful than the flesh. If you keep feeding the spirit with the word, it becomes more powerful. Every time you feed your spirit, the flesh bows. Every time you feed it, the flesh bows. Remember you have your treasure, which is the time to enjoy. Time is short. If you lose it, you never get it back. It comes and it goes. So don't waste it. Enjoy your life while still you got when you got it. Because one day you run out of time. Time is precious. And to what? Enjoy. Don't spend time miserable. Because all the time that you spend miserable, you're not going to get it. It's wasted. Hallelujah. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the word. Enjoy the church. Enjoy others' fellowship. Let me tell you one thing. The, the devil is afraid of you. He knows the authority that you carry. He knows what God has invested in you. He knows that if you could rise up, he never ever stand a chance. He will never stand a chance. I just want to tell you, I want to encourage you that where you are, you are sitting in the word of God that carries authority which the devil sees in you and he fears, he's jealous because he knows that Jesus died for you and you are special but because he knows that you don't know your rights you will take advantage of you, of your ignorance. Because you have treasure in within you. I, I want to tell you the truth. You have treasure in you. In your mouth, you can speak things. It's either you can speak death or you can speak life. I'm telling you, Because there is authority in the word. If you stand right and you begin to speak the word, you are prophesying things, creating in the spirit things that are not there. Things that are not, although as if they were. They were there. That's what happens in the spirit. That's what happens in you. 
that that's the authority God has invested in your life as a child of God. This is what the devil sees. This is why he hates you. Because of that authority in you. Because you have all what you need. I'm telling you, you have all. Because all you do, you just speak. You just speak. Prophesy. Speak. Speak life. The devil is an accuser. All he does is to accuse you before God. Oh God, look. God, look. Look. Why? He wants to put a blame on you to bring you down. You must never allow that to happen. Never. You've got to stand for your own rights. The devil is bitter. Very, very bitter. If he's given a chance, he would kill everyone. Yes. In Isaiah 55, verse 10, it says, As the rain comes down, as the rain comes what? Down and the snow comes down, will not return without watering the ground. It's the same. As the word of God goes forth, will not return to him empty. What makes it bounce back is what? There is no faith. Is it? Because there is no faith. Because you don't believe. But if you believe, all things are, all things are possible. In Matthew 11, 23, says, if you have faith, yeah, you can speak to a mountain. I don't know your mountain. I don't know your mountain. But you have a mountain that's standing before you. You have a mountain that you need to face and then you need to speak and see that mountain move. Because that word is there. That authority is there. Which the devil fears. I tell you, child of God, you are not just an ordinary person. I'm telling you, if you claim to be Christian, you are not an ordinary what? Person. This is why the devil will not let go. He will continue to strike. Continue to strike. And then he knows your weakness. That you are going to end up giving up. But if you know your God. <laughs> if the Bible says the people that know their God. They shall be made strong. And do exploits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You got to know your God. You got to know who you are in Christ. And say, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me.
Thank you, Jesus. Gracious. Either for your family, for the church, whatever it is. Yourself. Because we are told to speak the word. We are told to believe in the word. We are told that all what we have, eh, all we need, we have it. Why do we have it? It's because we can speak and release it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to speak and release a blessing. We are going to speak a breakthrough in your life. We will speak a breakthrough in your finances. We want you to stand right now. 